What's up guys? All right, I want to do a quick video uh, in reference to a video I posted a couple weeks ago where I was landing my Mavic Pro on a moving truck. I was trying to. Um, and I had a bunch of people say if you had just shut the motors off, if you just done the emergency shutdown, it would have worked. I disagree and I'll show you why. So I'm just going to do a quick uh, emergency shutoff test on my uh, Mavic Pro. I've got an FAA approved um, regulation size catch net here so I really don't want to hear it. But let's, let's just get right into it. To start the drone you bring these two sticks in and together and that's the same for the emergency shutoff. So in the case of in the case of my video, my drone is traveling forward at you know 10 miles an hour. And then to make the drone do the emergency shutoff, I have to bring I have to bring both sticks in and down. So like this. Do you see why that wouldn't work on a moving truck? As soon as I bring these sticks in and down the drone is gonna stop moving forward. The truck is continually moving forward, the drone is also, and as soon as I do the emergency shutoff, the drone's gonna stop, try to spin and go down. Let's do it again. All right, so flying along, even going forward, I have to bring the stick back and down, and it takes about a second for it to drop. On a side note, I am so stoked on how well my bed sheet net here is working. All right. <coughs> oh, allergies. So again, to stop the props, you do the same thing you do to start them. So I'm gonna bring them in and down. Props are on, throttle up. All right, so one more time. Even if the drone's moving forward, I have to slam it this way to make it stop. Okay, so I hope, I hope that makes sense. Moving forward is not an option when you're doing your emergency shutoff because it, the, the drone is traveling forward, you have to tell it to go backwards and to the side, also down and spin, and you have to hold that for about a second before it actually shut the motors off. So if you're moving forward, following a truck like I did, or more realistically, probably on a boat, the boat can actually move out of the way before the motors actually shut off. Does that make sense? Um, so I would actually recommend getting you a good pair of welding gloves and just hand catching the thing. Anyway, I hope that helped. I hope that might end the debate. Probably won't. But uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.